I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you a little bit about the life as a security analyst before and after SOAR. As a security organization, we actually are deploying a lot of different technology into our environment from a threat detection perspective. So if you look at you know, endpoint agents that we deployed, network monitoring that's in, inside of our environment, obviously a lot of security controls that we're implementing inside of the cloud, and obviously the monitoring is associated with you know, mobile and IoT devices. Uh, there's a lot of information that's being generated inside of our environment from a security perspective. And that generally flows uh, you know, from, from you know, left to right here as logs and alerts inside into something like a log management system. Uh, you know, SIM, UEBA, Data Lake are all things that organizations are using to monitor and collect logging information, be it compliance or actually for you know, searching and forensic response and things like that. So those are, that information is flowing into your SIM. You know, within that SIM environment or that data lake, you're doing correlations, you're doing analytics, you're re you have rule sets that are triggering alerts, cases, events, whatever the nomenclature is for that SIM. And you know, on top of that, organizations are also getting those high fidelity alarms, right? There's, there's those downstream uh, technologies that are sending log information into the SIM are also, you know, can generate really good alarms that are easy to action uh, directly. So that might be, you know, your highly trusted endpoint technology, or maybe you, you know, have really good luck uh, from a low false positive rate perspective on, you know, perimeter defenses, or whatever it might be. Those alarms are flowing also to your security team. But as an analyst, I'm responsible for you know, taking in all those alarms, all those cases, all those notifications, and really you know, processing that based on our policies, procedures, best practices. So as an analyst, I have all these different panes of glass that I'm actually looking and pivoting through, right? So obviously this will sit on one, two, three monitors, depending on how many the analyst has. But you know, I have those alarms that are coming in. These could be SIM, these could be directly from these you know, high fidelity alerts. But you know, I have my browser open with multiple tabs. So threat intelligence research, all the investigation sites that I have at my disposal. Uh, I'm gonna have my ticketing system open so that I can you know, capture and escalate wherever I need to, any assignments for tasks. Uh, you know, I have to do communications. I have to do notification uh, from a mail perspective. Maybe I'm using chat. And then from a, a research and investigation perspective, along with my browser tab, maybe I'm running you know, commands from a CLI perspective. Maybe I have some, some scripts that we're using to gather information from resources. I'll probably have my checklist up from a process and procedure perspective. And then I have all my desktop apps that, you know, that are helping me with my job. I'm you know, using Notepad or Excel to normalize information, but additionally, I'm probably using some specialized tools. Maybe it's a Wireshark for, for packet analysis or IDA. And you know, as an analyst, this, this is a lot to manage and it's a lot to pivot through. So, you know, as an analyst, this is this is really cumbersome, right? This is, you know, time intensive, this is, you know, really difficult and it doesn't allow me to really automate a lot of the work that I'm doing and it also, you know, has me doing a lot of repetitive copying and pasting. Our goal of SOAR then is to really, you know, improve the life of, of the analyst, right? So instead of having all these different components that, that we have to pivot through on a you know on a minute by minute basis, I want to kind of reduce the amount of things that you know, an analysis is going to need to use, right? So I think there's a misconception that at some point we're going to have this single pane of glass, which I think can be a bit of a misnomer at times, but can we put things into a centralized location that allows, you know, the analyst to have a better, you know, quality of life, a better day-to-day -day experience? So the goal with the SOAR platform is to take all those different components and centralize it into one location to make the life of an analyst better. So with a SOAR platform that you know, includes the reporting and case management, workflow and orchestration components, you get a centralized location for all the research, investigation, uh, and intelligence information that you're pulling out of your environment. Each one of those alarms, you know, you're curating that information and allowing you to correlate you know, alarms like over time. Uh, addition to that, you know, all of that information allows you to generate you know, a lot of metrics and KPIs. So if it's your weekly report, if it's a monthly report, if you're supporting audit, the ability to automatically have those reports and dashboards in a single place is, is really, really powerful, especially when you're gathering that information from a broad variety of sources. As an analyst, this is one of the big ones is just reducing the number of repetitive tasks. If you think about you know, the seven different things that we had on the board there, I'm copying and pasting information from my SIM system into my ticketing system and taking threat intelligence information from an investigation perspective and putting it into my CLI to run uh, investigations and commands and scripts. So having that all in a single place reduces the amount of repetitive things that I have to do, but also reduces human error. It's very easy to make a mistake on a copy and paste and you know, get the wrong information or say, you know, maybe that IP address didn't have uh, a 
you know, a piece of information that was, you know, might have flagged it as malicious or benign. Um, capturing institutional knowledge, you know, as an organization, we have to deal with staff turnover uh, and the ability to capture the things that we learn about our environment and codify it into a system enables us to be able to kind of reduce the amount of times we have to start over as, as staff turns over and allows us to become a much more mature organization over time. And that really leads into the standardization of best practices. You know, you want your security team to do the right thing every time in an efficient way. So if it's SLA adherence, uh, if it's ability to support compliance or audit, really getting those best practices practices codified into the system ensures that everybody's doing things the same way. Uh, additionally, you have a system for audit and compliance support. So anybody who's dealing with you know, their, their compliance or an audit knows that an auditor is going to come in and ask you for examples of how you followed your procedures, what, you know, look at your processes, and how do you show evidence for what was actually accomplished. And I think most importantly, you know, all of these aggregate together really improves the quality of life as an analyst. I'm not spending a lot of time on really mundane tasks. It allows me to free up uh, cycles to go and do you know, investigations, uh, hunting, uh, you know, root cause analysis, the things that I actually get excited about as a security analyst. So this, in, in this ability to improve you know, the analyst life allows us to recruit better staff, allows us to keep the existing staff that we have and you know, really allow analysts to work on the things that they're really excited about. So thanks for spending a few minutes with me to talk about life as a security analyst with and without SOAR.